there is always a win-win situation. Unfortunately, some of the people that are leading both sides cannot see them. But there is only a, a, always a way if there is a will. Welcome to the Charney Resolution Center. Today we have General Israela Ovon. Hello, Israela. We wanted to ask you, how did you come to this field of study? I was in the military, uh, which is understood because I'm a general, a former lieutenant general. Uh, but uh, during my military ser service, I realized that there are some issues that you don't have a military solution for them. So we need to seek for another solution. And that would be the political solution for issues. And it would be dealing with reconciliation, dealing with the past. Do you feel a difference in the audience, depending on if you talk to people in Israel, if you talk to younger or older people, do you feel like they respond differently to your lectures? I enjoyed very much my lecture here. Uh, in front of you young people because you are much more intelligent <laughs> and you are open to new ideas and you are not stuck in the past and all ideas that were uh, presented to you and you are willing to explore uh, new things so it was a real pleasure to talk to you. The lecture was actually really interesting and gave us a perspective of what actually the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is. First of all, it simplified it, which may be a good or bad thing, but it gives you a perspective of how actually both sides live their life in. And she did not just give like solely um, examples from both sides, but rather things that are external, which can represent the same conflict. And th I think that's really important when it comes to to Israel as there is not just one, uh, one real story. I think this lecture has been so interesting for all of us. I think it was really eye-opening and I guess for all of us it was different in a way. I think I perceive it as an international student, so different than an Israeli or a Palestinian. Thought, and I found it really interesting when we talk about the definition of justice and how every single of us creates our own definition with our own background and our own knowledge. I don't think I can grasp the, the meaning of the word peace because I haven't been living in peace my entire life. Mm -hmm. I've been living in, in conflict, in a conflict zone, an ongoing uh, place of, of bloodshed and, and wars. So for me, there is a saying in Hebrew, it means live and, and let others live as well. I never heard uh, the conflict so well structured and so easily to understand. And in such an open-minded way, I, I loved how she taught us. And yeah, for me, I guess now we know that we need to think about the past in a way that it's something that we learn to not do it in the future and how we are going to do it next time, getting to know each other's opinions. What advice would you give us as young people in order to achieve peace in the future? To be open to the other side uh, arguments, to the other side culture, to the other side opinions, and to understand where they are coming from, and then uh, to decide what will be best not only for your side, but what will be the win-win uh, situation. But do you think there is a win-win situation in regards There is always a win-win situation. Unfortunately, some of the people that are leading both sides cannot see them. But there is only a w a, always a way if there is a will. Thank you from the Chani Resolution Center and see you next week. Peace means taking into account the dignity of other people and the fact that there are other people who have certain rights.